Good morning. This is a quick video about the 2002 Chrysler Caravan. I mean Chrysler Town & Country. It can be a Dodge Caravan. Most Dodges from uh, 2000, I think, to 2006 or something have the same issue. If you're smelling fuel in your uh, through your air conditioner ducts, through your heater ducts, or you're just smelling fuel when you start the car initially, then it sort of goes away or you just continue to smell it. Uh, what happens a lot is there's a fuel test port on top of the motor where the fuel injectors go and it leaks a lot there's a little o-ring that leaks and it's the same exact o-ring that the fuel injectors use on the 3.3 liter v6 uh, i've had this problem a couple times i had to deal with it again today because the first original o-ring i had was the wrong one and I got the right ones and uh, what you have to do first of all I'll try to make this as quick as possible because all the other videos suck uh, you got to take the power steering fluid reservoir off what you do is you get a I think I had a 7 7 30 second I can't remember exactly you take these two screws off right here this one and this one then down here and you can't really see but right here down in here there's a, behind that's a stud you got to get a 10 millimeter socket deep well and go back through here and and kind of get this hose back here up get underneath it with an extension and loosen it and then this thing pops up like that it pops up and when it pops up you can get these screws off i'll take them off real quick this is uh one of my few videos i've ever done i wasn't really ready to do this this morning but I'm going to do it for you anyhow. Take these two off. And I'll get the correct size after this. There's, that's a 10 millimeter nut there. Can you see that nut? Take it off. Now what happens is this thing right here, this is a test port. That test port leaks. And that's what has the O-ring on it. And to get it off, there's little tiny teeth underneath there that clip that thing on. There's five of them. And this thing kind of spins i can't really get a good shot of it but i'll try but there's little prongs under there you got to kind of bend them out with a screwdriver it's a pain in the ass but you can get them off and then you pull the thing up and then the o-ring is on that and then you put it back on and then bend them back around where it hangs but what happens is the fuel leaks out on here and then you smell it in your vents you smell it everywhere it's it's something you really got to fix and but the biggest thing is is a pain in the ass to get to this so once you get this thing off you're good to go so let me show you real quick the o-rings that you have to buy you can buy them on ebay you can get them on the internet they're not very expensive i think i got mine through rock auto they're these right here that black one was the wrong one these little bluish green ones are the ones you want okay and they're mopar the part number four eight nine one 489-7125-AA-001. A couple of them cost like five bucks. Hell, it costs more to ship the damn things, but these are what go on your fuel injectors, and that will fix the leak. I hope this uh, helped everyone out today. Just got to tighten everything back up, and uh, you'll be leak-free. No more gas smell when you start up your Chrysler Caravan 3.3 liter. Please subscribe to Marky Thunder, and I hope this helps you today.